But <laughs> yes, you are in Saru, specifically in the city of Hayaba, where you're currently figuring out thought, how to proceed. Because I thought we just a... we left. I thought we just left last time for the goblin bleh, thing. Well, oh, yeah. Goblins. Maybe you did that too. Right, you <laughs> were doing that. Um, so, you are just getting off the ground, setting off. Uh, if you could remind me. Uh, actually, I might have written it down. But I don't have my notebook open yet. Again, I have not updated. That was actually going to be my project for today. And instead, I uh, slept until noon. Nice. And oh, then didn't do anything. You. I also need to um, up upload all the billion videos I haven't uploaded. If you could do that, yes, uh, I need to do that. useful for my reference. I've been very bad uh, at doing it. <laughs> okay, so we have the core four, which now that there's four of you, it is a core four. Ah. Edric is with us, too. Yes, you took Edric with you for some reason. I mean, hey, I like, was with you. might as well. And Bat -Bat. I didn't bring him, I think. I was sad about him. Why? Because why not? Yeah. You never know. Never, might know. Be, never know. It might be useful. Uh, it he's does he is, help he is probably have a wizard the, sometimes. Yeah. And it's, but it'd um, probably be very helpful to have someone who can cast Fireball if a bunch of goblins decide to try to kill us. You're presuming that Adre can cast Fireball. Oh, no! Yeah, you should ask me. He works for me. I, I know he tells me all the things he can do. Like like he takes two spoons and clacks them together against his hand. What a terrible wizard if he can't can't cast fireball. Why? Maybe he casts that's water the, the bowl, signature, That's the signature of wizard spell. He doesn't if have you, to learn if you, fireball. If you, can take, if you can take fireball, you take fireball. I, I wouldn't take fireball. No, well, you're, not, you're not a wizard. prefer to be... Some people prefer to be iconoclastic and refuse to take fireball. <laughs> yeah, like and me. I can actually tell you that Edric is one of them. Damn. He yeah. does not take well, fireball. Hey, if he he has, maybe he has some kind of AOE. Maybe he has spells. some kind of AOE magic. I don't know. I think Sada, Tomb, if your plan was to take Edric along for him to explode everybody with incredible firepower... You picked the wrong mage. <laughs> I also have a question. Why did he you... Ar... He is an arcane trickster, not yeah. an evoker. Also, why did you specifically bring him when you're like, oh, I want to talk to the goblins all peaceful, like... Diplomacy. Yes, just in case. Just in case. Hey, I brought this gun to this diplomatic meeting. Please ignore it. It's just I mean, in case. I mean, you wouldn't I'm know a person is a gun until... They do do a fireball on you. Fair, fair enough. The do do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, to be fair, Edric does just look like a regular guy with a rapier until he casts something. So. Yeah. All right. The interrogation is over. Let's go to the goblins. I had a lot of caffeine today. I'm very sorry. Okay. No, you're not. Right. Um, actually, I just spotted one of Edric's spells, which is Edric's special spending, sp uh, which I have written down as Edric's special sending spell that he gets as a fourth level spell instead of a fifth level spell. <laughs> like pretty much that entire sentence. Um, <laughs> So allow me first to replace that with an actual fourth level spell because I've been meaning to do that and I just haven't. Okay. If you now Edric has a lot of spells in his spell book, if you guys would like to look through the sorcerer wizard spell list and pick one or two fourth level spells for him to put in there, you can do so. I feel like I should. Here, like, I'll uh, I will link it to you guys. But I uh, I I tend to go for the spells that I think are fun and not actually optimize at all. So uh, uh, I'll try. That's a cat. Meow. Oh yeah, he's just running around. He's got emotions. 
Sometimes cats do. Well, I think Medusa's Bane is just a real funny thing to do. But it probably transforming your eyes into metallic looking orbs. Do it. Fuck yeah, what? That's freaky as hell. <laughs> uh, it has to be. Uh, wait, sorry. What was the school that we're allowed? I, I, is it hey. any school? You can pick any uh, school. Okay. Oh, what level? A, fourth. Can, fourth. Uh, fourth level. Oh, sorry. He can turn into a hentai with black tentacles. Okay. Okay. Black tentacles is also good. Black tentacles oh. is just a good spell. Oh. Um. Well. I would laugh at him every time he casted it. Uh, uh, I will note that Edric is, has a divination focus, what? and his opposed <laughs> schools are necromancy and enchantment. So those spells are basically out. So All don't right. pick a necromancy or an enchantment spell. I'm sorry, is a gun wizard a thing? Yes. I guess I never... Yep. Oh, okay. Yes. Huh. That's the first time that ever occurred to me as You've a met a few, actually. The oh. gendarmes of Montfarce are all um, spell slingers. Huh. So, could you use name bullet, attach ammunition to human, and then just have higher accuracy? Is that how that works? Um, I'm not sure what spell you're looking at. Named bullet. Humanoids, yeah, look at that. Okay, wow. That's... Very interesting. I never wish, wish you had that for Billy Bolts back in the last one. Shut the fuck up, too. <laughs> More potent than just shooting a bullet, though, for spell slingers is that they can cast their spells through their gun, which adds the gun's enchantment uh, enhancement bonus to their spell DC. Uh, They're actually pretty strong. Yeah. They just have to take four opposed schools, so they become very specific with what they can do. Incredibly specific. Uh, sorry, it was necromancy and what? Evocation? That enchantment. Like... Enchantment, okay. I think, yeah. Enchantment and necromancy are banned. Okay, I just He want to does not sure. deal with those two schools. He does not like taking control of people's minds or uh, necromancy. But he'd be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys pick because I'm looking at these. I'm just kind of overwhelmed with choice. Uh, I'll throw my head in the ring for uh, black tentacles. Why does that? Why is that the good spell? I'm very curious, actually. Grapples good. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, useful. it's not one person. No, it's an AOE. Yeah. Oh wow, that's actually kind of stupid strong, actually, <sighs> for a turn or whatever, right? I'm you totally actually here. had black tentacles cast on you. Yeah. When you were in the tomb of uh, the Twin Kingdoms, uh, the necromancer who was down there cast it on basically the entire party. Which was really fun. I remember that. It almost killed uh, um, uh, Logan. Logan. Yeah. yeah, I remember that because because uh, he got he, the bleeding was stopped by Chazari pushing his his gun to his balls. <laughs> Not necessarily to those, but yes. <laughs> Man, wizards are cool. There's just spell that converts the surface of the ground into molten glass. Why would you ever want that? Fantastic. Why, why wouldn't you? I know, it's like... I guess if you can think of a use for it, that could be really cool, but I don't know what that would be. I'll see. Huh? Stone shape is just fun. It's just a good spell. It is. I put too much vanilla yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I have two of my pink black tentacles. <laughs> I mean, black tentacles would be good. I'm from Canada. Yeah. I guess it depends if you want them to have something like useful in battle or something like helpful outside of battle, like some kind of scrying situation or creepy sneaking, information gathering. Uh. His preferred school is divination. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Well, now that I know that, uh, let's see. I just want something appropriate as well. He also already has scrying prepared. Oh, he doesn't have anything that I consider like 
use magic beetles as spice. <laughs> That's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> Why beetles only? That says N6 uh, spice. Can't you like get, a like... little ladybug. <laughs> yeah. You summon one or more glo- Oh, okay. It's, I, I thought, like, for whatever reason, it's like you look at something, it's like, that's my s spy now. <laughs> that's, a fun, that's a fun one. I like that one. Like, first you have to find a beetle. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I yeah, don't know why. Just, there just aren't beetles here. They're not just, endemic to the region. You have to keep one in a jar on your person at all times. Is it possible that we can retrofit this so that it's not just glossy black beetles, or does it have to be glossy black beetles so that... It doesn't necessarily have to be beetles, no. Okay, cool. I, I I put my hat in. But I want it to be beetles. I, I pull my hat out of the ring for black tentacles and I throw in N6 spies. That seems really fun. Okay. We'll cut this off at about 7.10, so you guys have about another four <laughs> minutes to uh, throw out uh, names of spells to me. I'm writing them Ride the lightning. I would... Is that... Wait. Oh, if you're just making a list. Right. Then... Tongues, com that tongues communal. That would be useful. That is pretty useful. Wait. That would be very useful I, for what we're doing. I, I thought you were making a Guilty Gear reference, but that's actually a spell? Yeah, Tongues yeah. Communal. Let's, let's you understand. Let's you talk Can languages I... and understand languages. No, I was talking about Ride the Lightning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ride the Lightning is a spell. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to give that... To, maybe I could turn this character into Kai Kiss. Ride the Lightning is a level 9 spell, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I, you asked for suggestions. I'm yeah, voting. level four ones. I'm voting for like, tongues. I'm voting for tongues wait, communal. Wait, it's in the middle elemental school. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's fucking great. What about whispering wind? You could have the wind send a message. What it has a range of a mile per level. What else is in the middle? Is there is there more rocket? Is there more metal? Ref is there more Metallica here? Let me see. God damn it! I can't find anything else. God damn it! That was good. Uh. Fuck. God, you can really have a lot of fun with wizards. Too bad I killed mine. <laughs> Whoa, mirror transport? What the hell? What? I, are, I, are we allowed to have that? Or is, is that a thing we can do? Transport it's a transportation spell. Oh, right? is, that a, is that a... Yeah, teleportation. Uh, yeah, of... that's right. Wow. <sighs> but imagine. On a case by case basis. Um, where is it? Mirror transport? Um, it's transmutation. I don't think that would count then. I think I mean I think that would count as not a thing. Dimension door. Dimension door is the one uh, teleport adjacent spell that I allow. Yeah. Since it's basically just slingshotting you around on the same plane. Oh, I forgot to look at the. So yeah, I would allow mirror transport. Okay. We're gonna throw that in there. I don't know if that's useful or anything. Uh, man, that'd be so fun if you just like put mirror doors throughout like your your castle or whatever, and there's just secret shortcuts. Remember that, remember that he'd be the only. Wait, would anybody be able to use it? Any the creature that enters the target mirror. The duration okay. of the spell is one hour per level, and every time it's used, it lowers the duration by an hour. I feel like it'd be weird to turn Edric into basically, into basically like, hey Edric, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Could you just you know, do me a solid? He's like that. You you you've hired me just to be your doorman, and I like it. Pays good. Could give him monstrous physique too. Turn him into a centaur for a while. <laughs> no, no, that buyer says no. I'm I'm for uh yeah I'm for the tongues. Wow. And it's pretty useful, yeah. Well, you get two choices. He has two open spell slots at level yeah. four. Well, so 
I vote nominate Tungsi, one of them. I don't know what the other one, though. Detect scrying. <laughs> just to see if anybody's spying on you. You know? Could be useful. Okay, I'll put that down as the last spell. So you have six spells here. You have black tentacles. You have insect spies. You have communal tongues. Excuse me. You have whispering wind. You have mirror transport. And you have detect scrying. So you each get two votes. Can't vote for the same thing. Uh, uh, two, what do you vote for? Tongues and uh, and black tentacles. Okay. Rita, what do you vote for? I've already forgot the list. <laughs> uh, black tentacles, insect uh -huh. spies, communal tongues, whispering wind, mirror transport, detect scrying. Uh, tongues in the wind. Okay. Jake. Insect spies and mirror transports. <laughs> Okay. The goofiest ones. Yes. Uh, Nuva. Uh, and six spies and black tentacles. Okay, so we have a three-way tie. So I'm eliminating oh. Whispering Wind, Mirror Transport, and Detect Spies. Are you serious? I actually wasn't trying to do that. I thought I, I, thought I, I was like, I'm not going to make a tie. I'm going to pick All right, I'm going to go in reverse order. So uh, Nuva, Black Tentacles, Insect Spies, Communal Tongues. And six spies. I feel like it has more utility. And what's your other votes? Yeah, it's vote two. Yeah. Go. Uh, sorry, repeat the other two. Black tentacles and communal tongues. Oh, uh, yeah, black tentacles. Okay. Just so I can um, Jake. And sex spies and communal tongues. Okay, Rita. What are the options? What are the options? Black this tentacles, time, yeah. insect spies, yeah. and communal tongues. Communal tongues and insect spies. Yeah, okay. That's what and I'm voting tombstone? for as well. Uh, tongues insect and spies. spies. And, okay, so black tentacle, <laughs> tentacle, arguably the most useful spell on the list, is eliminated. <laughs> oh, um, heck. And uh, yeah. will be using <laughs> Edric will be using insect spies and... Uh, insect spies and communal tongues. The latter of which will probably be very useful. Yes. <laughs> and you yeah. never know, insect spies might be very useful as well. Yeah. It's going to win us the whole campaign. Just you watch. Guarantee yeah. it. Uh -huh. Insect spites. No, the uh, insects are spiteful bit. now. Oh no. A little evil that could. There's a, they're, they're starting to cool. They want the first. Uh, yeah, they want. They're taking Suruga now. They were here first. Technically, these were summoned uh, insects, so <laughs> they weren't here at all, really. Weird. Wait, where did they or, come wait, from? Wait, or are they, they summoned insects? What of their? Do what they... of? What of their insects? Dead insects from Silva's realm. <laughs> Do they come from the elemental plane of bugs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and perhaps that is do, do insects disturbing. do insects go to heaven when they die no do insects have souls cells no they're vermin oh okay <laughs> oh wow that's fucking rude as hell oh, no actually their their literal monster type is vermin yeah oh. um which means they don't have an intelligent rate intelligence rating oh. which means they are non-sapient so no souls for them. All right. I don't know why. I just thought it was really. Fun. But cow, but cows have souls. Of course they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. Well, that makes me feel bad. <laughs> they taste so good. Okay. So oh god! Interest... Ice in my throat. It's not good. Well, I'll go away eventually. Okay. Insect spies and communal tongues. Okay, and so the uh, seven of you are flying northward across the length of the island, hurtling back closer to where you began your journey. Um, just south of uh, Shugo. Akio wants to ask something. What? Yeah, so... 
the goblin culture how that worked do, do they have like clans like a, a I mean, patriarchy like what is it anybody know i don't, I don't think sada would know so, yeah. what would i roll for that sals uh they're a humanoid so technically not local oh okay well sada sada tries to think kind of don't want to run know into anything. that weird situation yeah, I don't want to run into that weird situation we had with the rat. Well, I didn't. I wasn't a part of that, actually. Um, that uh, goblins are primarily known on Logos as being somewhere between a nuisance and an existential threat. Um, yes. Like go civilizations have fallen at the hands of goblins. Jeez. Um, but also you'll occasionally just get like a blob of a dozen goblins or so raiding a guy's farm and making off with his crops. Um, That's really they funny. are universally just sort of, uh, aggressive and malicious Yeah. from pretty much all encounters. You've never heard of friendly goblins, and frankly, the fact that these goblins didn't uh, go goblins goblins <laughs> didn't attack your soldiers immediately yeah, uh, really weird. confuses you. It, yeah. it it this is unheard of goblin behavior, as far as you know. Huh. Maybe maybe they're not goblins. Maybe they're goblins. Maybe Sal's accidentally revealed the twist. Gerblins. Groblins. Groblins. Maybe they're frob groblins. <laughs> no, hobgoblins are something entirely different. <laughs> hobgoblins they no actually, longer exist. Yeah, they actually existed at one point, but then they got wiped out. They're not out even by... goblins a little bit. <laughs> they got wiped out by the oh. dragons, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then goblins appeared, and they sort of looked like hobgoblins, so this they just the called them goblins. <laughs> They're a hob short because they're small. <laughs> That's true. So, um, yes. Yeah, so anything else you want to discuss as you fly across the landscape of your island home? Hmm. Yeah. Um. So, goblins, eh? Yeah. Maybe we're gonna have our own goblinopia. What? What? Yeah, like Cobaltopia, but goblin. I mean, I don't know. What? That's Cobaltopia. It's a it's a country that exists in the world that people know about. That is a famous democracy made of cobalts. It's really oh, not yeah. that famous, considering that it's a uh, client state of Ardania. Yeah. I mean. Huh. Yeah, but isn't it like notable because of its role in, during the uh, the battle against the Beast of Rides? Kind and of. especially as a if somebody, people from the then we would have known about it. People primarily know, like, oh, the champions of Ardenia saved the world by going into the thing, and Ardenia has like a sort of special place in the world because you know they they were the foundation of yeah. like the world not ending. <laughs> um. But, like, if you said to somebody, hey, the Green Veilers had a impressively important uh, role in their heavy infantry holding the line, and, and also they're, like, the richest uh, kingdom sub-duchy uh, within the kingdom of Ardania, anyone who is not a studier of, like, <laughs> foreign history is going to have no idea who you're talking about, and that's the vast majority of people. That's... I, that doesn't. I don't know. I'm sorry. That just. I. I. I get it. It's your world, but it doesn't. It didn't make much sense to me because it was still like big things happen there. Like even beyond just the regular beast of ride stuff. Like big things happen there. Is is my thing. There are democratic agitators that pop out of Cobaltopia from time to time, and they do end up in other countries. Um, they're uh, 
they tend to be um, kind of a bit of an annoyance to the local authorities. So they're not super like looked well upon. If asked, they'll probably tell you where they're from and you might learn about Copadopia that way. But you have to remember like, yeah, Copadopia oh, was important we, to the- we, we, would uh, all, we would all know what Copadopia is because Logan was with us and he, his family came from there. That too. Yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> His family came from Cobaldopia. Is that something that I'm not remembering? I'm pretty sure I remember him talking about how his family came from Ardania. So, I mean, he's a Cobalt too. Yeah. He's not. He's a Wyvern. They're uh, separate. Well, closely related, though. Well, now I'm looking up stuff. <laughs> um. Wyverns tend to be from Alright, you know what it's not it's... You know what? Never mind. Yes. Kasumi you can know about Copadopia. Um Please go ahead and expand. <laughs> okay, well I the same conversation happens where people who don't know about Coldoba are like, what? I'm like, you know, famous country formed by Coldobas that is now a client state of Ardania. Started the concept of a democracy. Why do you know so much about Ardania? Somebody, somebody do home, does nobody do homework? We talked about doing a democracy. I thought we were founding, basing it off the Coldobian system. You've, you've never mentioned that. Because I just do, I read. I don't know. Like, it's, All what, right. What do, I, what do you want me to do? I, I, I have a lot of spare time sometimes, and I, I read books about things, and I thought that's where Sada got the idea uh, from. I guess I was wrong. I, mean, I was thinking more of, like, Vaven, but also I did, I do know about it from Vones' like, novelization of the Champion's Adventure. I'm not sure how accurate Which, that is. Again, not it's, the best uh, resource. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's that very accurate. That's very accurate, though. So, <laughs> I guess I haven't really read a book in a while now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, so it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Mino observes that I don't think I've ever read a book. <laughs> Straight books, they're nice. Um, so, Kovaldopia is a country that was founded by kobolds, and it's it's they came into conflict with the the Iterons originally, and it was a whole thing. It's really neat. It's a neat little story. Now they're they're doing their own. So yeah. What does this have to do with Goblins? And, yeah, I heard I heard there was like a, a cyborg cobalt too. That was the bones of the story. Well, I mean maybe <laughs> we're gonna start our our, our, our goblin opia. Oh right, right, goblin opia. That's All how right. this happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that I <laughs> don't, you don't have to apologize for being well read. <laughs> What is happening? Fuck, right I, now? Feel, nerd. I feel so conscious because I, I try. What is happening that's, right now? That's good. I guess Are I don't try. <laughs> we were talking about goblets. Yeah, goblinopia. Yeah. Better maybe. Maybe. Goblin states. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see what happens first. <laughs> These are pretty Who's... weird goblins, though. So. Who is adorable I... cat? Is that? What? Oh. Hey, Cookie! Oh my god, <laughs> so cute! So cute! I couldn't hear it because I have soundproof headphones. Hi, Cookie! Just the saddest little real. There we go. I got him. Sorry if you hear his purrs. I never oh, apologize. I oh my gosh. No. I thought you should yeah. apologize if we don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, oh, he has potions on him. Oh, Edric. Yes. <laughs> nice. 
He has thin, watery liquid stored Ew. in a watch. He has a slimy <laughs> what? purple. Oh yeah, this was from... a random potion generator. All the way back when. He has a slimy purple liquid in a honeycomb sealed with oh, beeswax, and it's a cool. gaseous olive liquid. How can it be gaseous and a liquid? In an inhaler. I have no idea what wow. any of these do. I didn't. I just wrote down the, the <laughs> things. I didn't write down the description. Now you get to make up what they are. It's fun. Um, unless oh, I, I sounds I... just like us. <laughs> just have them identify. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! Oh no! The <laughs> identify spell. I don't know. Um. He does not have the identifies. Oh wait! Even does, if does. he did, it wouldn't help you if you don't know what they are, Sales. <laughs> this is a. Such um, <laughs> okay, you know what? This is a good use for the random magical effects list that I made. Oh boy. Um, so I'm gonna write these down. In your new notebook. Handy dandy notebook. Uh, someone roll me a d100 three times, if you'd be so kind. Sure. Oh, I forgot to go. I forgot to log it to roll twenty. Then tell me what it is. Fifty-seven, eight, and eighteen. Fifty-seven. Excellent. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Eight. Okay. Could be a fluid. And what was the last one? 18. 18. Okay, cool. I know what they I know what they do now. Excellent. They're all really fun. Uh, by the way, I recommend that you drink them. <laughs> I drink one. I drink one. No. Okay, which ones? I don't know. Uh, Edric left. just basically picks them out. Yeah, the wait, are you... Oh, I forgot I had these. Hey, I got potions. And Kasui just yanks it out of his hand. Also, Akio, he's like, oh, Who's? I... <laughs> I... I... Okay, I left. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, well, now, middle, huh? No. Each of you roll a 1d3. Or whoever's first roll one d three, and the next person roll one d two. I guess. Find out how you die. I've died before. I got better. Have you... No. What? Well, uh, vampire died. Oh. Wait, did I? So roll not I roll? you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Nuba, you only rolled a d two when you're rolling first, so you should roll d three. I thought, yeah, uh, I thought Jake would have been like, oh. Okay, well, oh, Jake, was... you roll then. Roll D3. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay, well, I'll take the two. I don't care. You have a roll for me. All right. You know what? It's fine by me. I am sorry. Um, Excellent. All right. Uh, so, uh, Nuva, you drink the th thin, watery liquid that was being stored in a watch. Uh, roll a d2, so please. fucking weird. Why would you do that? Roll a what? This was a very strange alchemist, as you'll remember. <laughs> that's, oh. that's, that's where they keep the good, the good booze. You don't get to drink a, a lot, like, I'm drinking watch juice. Timer fluid. Uh, yeah, so as you both drink these, um, Edric is well, watches you me. take them out of his hands any. and... Chug them and just, uh, that's really highly not recommended to do. You got, you got any watch fluid? <laughs> um, so yeah, Nuva, I still need you to roll a d2. Yeah, okay, and I need you to roll a d4 as well. Oh, this is this is this is worrisome. Did I roll? Yeah, Nuva, oh. your oh. right leg pops off. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I have two thought of bright sides the air, for you. Off the airship. What, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? Two bright sides. The first, <laughs> this first silver lining, is that you now have a new watch that works perfectly well. Uh -huh. The uh -huh. second silver lining is that your newly detached limb can be used effectively as a club. <laughs> 
Akio can it be falls. used effectively as a leg? If it's back on his body. How does that Akio, work? So it kicks also, it makes a lovely uh, pop noise as it just uh, detaches. So in case Wait. people forgot, Akio is wearing a full set of armor. Yep. Hang on. And it, so he begins to topple forward. She has to hear the pop. Yes, yes, I can hear the pop. Yes. And, it, and slowly in the distance, you hear someone, for whatever reason, being an ass, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Am I right? And then Akio falls and starts screaming. Uh, yeah, uh, Akio, you clang to the ground, uh, or clang to the deck of the um, ship. And, uh, yeah, your leg is disconnected. Uh, Kasumi, I just need you to roll me a d6. Actually, no. You d6? Rolled a, you rolled a 2 uh-huh. on a is that d2. A, is that a bad you, thing? Uh, you're like not a rolling thing. a d6. Actually, this is uh, potentially a Lethal interesting roll. thing. Kasumi explodes. <laughs> Sal's, am I going to die? Yep. Remains to be seen. I uh, <laughs> love it. Kasumi, can't wait to explain this one to your husband <laughs> on the bra uh, on, uh, near you on the bow of the ship appears a sudden purple roiling shimmer in the air uh-huh I'm Through intrigued which, uh, wafts a wind of cloying delicious smells Says cloying? That doesn't sound delicious. They are simultaneously delicious yet cloying. Cloying. Hmm. Okay. Uh... And through it steps a figure, powerfully muscled. Oh, can can we see this, or is it just Katsumi? Oh no! All th uh, everyone's. Oh. This is happening. This is happening in reality. Okay. Another reality is forcing itself into your own. Oh god! Um, uh -huh. My head is in my hands. <laughs> the figure wearing a sort of leather spiked harness um, a, a, of exceptional lascivious uh, quality. Um, wielding a whip and a long spike, actually not a whip, excuse me, wielding a long spiked chain that he has wrapped over his shoulders, sort of steps through, curiously, looking around, peering, as if completely flabbergasted that this is sort of happening right now to him as well. Uh, and he steps through and he looks at all of you and recognition passes over his face. Oh. You Hello? all again. Wait. You recognize this succubus. Uh-huh. This was the jailer from the glutton jail that you found Pascal's father in. Oh my god. Oh, What's his name? You actually never asked what his oh name was. Oh my was. god, that's so rude of us. I, I'm so sorry. I, I seem to have forgotten your name. What was it again? You never asked my name. Actually. Oh my goodness, that is entirely rude of me. I apologize. It was. Hi. Hi. My name is Lero. Why am I here? Oops, <laughs> hang on. I, I have to take He's a moment. Not... Lero? <laughs> Larry. <laughs> For sure. L E R O. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a good name. It's good meat on them bones. These idiots decided to drink some random magic potions they they saw. I mean, I don't know. It's exciting. He All right. Have, he, his light came off. I pointed at Akio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> Making like sense that this is a non permanent permanent summoning. Oh, well, you know, sorry to bother you on during your day. How things in the the realm of Polonius? Well, you know, when you love your work, you never work a day in your life. You know, that's, that's fair. I, I'm I'm glad to hear that. Although I would 
so much love to ply my trade on the material plane once again. Oh, I, I'm sure. He looks at you and so sort of steps closer. You wouldn't happen to have room for a jailer, would you? Um. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Hey, guys, do we have room for a jailer? Oh my god, what? Kasumi. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I don't. I'm. Just, I can't make long-term decisions. It's Can not really you... my place in the kingdom. That's why I'm asking you. You know, guys, I'm what trying, do you think? No. I'm trying to pilot an airship here. Can you no? just snap your fingers and send them back? I don't think I can. But what? sorry, it looks like, unfortunately, we don't have room at this moment. I do apologize. Uh, I understand this might seem like a waste of time. It was not my intention. I didn't know what the potion did. He frowns. Roll sense motive. Uh, get to my sheet on the slow page. Skills. Oh my god, it's so slow. This, this is the most casual, like... Hey, I rolled a 20. Uh, I only have plus plus three. So oh me. my god. <laughs> You've summoned one of the most powerful Irago in existence. Oh, beans. You've brought him, not realizing that you were doing so, onto a flying airship, and then essentially told him that, oh, I'm sorry, this was a mistake. I'm completely wasting your time. <laughs> His well, charming... Hey. Uh, Visage is masking the fact that he is enraged. Is there anything I can do for you to make up for the mistake? <laughs> he narrows his eyes at you and looks over the four of you. Or excuse me, the six of you that are on the airship. Mino at this time has taken up her spear and is just like aiming it directly at his face while Edric is still holding the remaining potion that he had and is just like staring wide-eyed at this happening and just like oh my god what have I done you didn't do anything it was freaking <laughs> these idiots he brought ah! out the potion I just wanted a drink and as he scans over it his eyes alight on Akio's leg. Goes, no! Yes, I can think of something. The chain snaps out, wraps itself around the leg, pulls it back into his grasp, and he just falls back through the portal with snaps shut behind him. What the fuck? Pow is just head and hands. Why do you guys do this? <laughs> we have so much on our plate already. Why do you do this? We didn't have to do oh that. My God, I'm so lightheaded right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I had a head rush. <laughs> Like, this isn't hey, just... I'm off the hook at least. No, this isn't some lapse in judgment. You guys have a problem with this tempting is... fate. This is out of character. Yes, uh, but yes, also out of character, we have a problem with that because every time Sal's greets us with a magical portal with 10,000 different possibilities that we, if we drink from it, we drink from it a lot. Oh, out of character. This is hilarious. <laughs> in character, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I Oh my face hurts. <laughs> I I don't know what to say right now. Uh, <sighs> did, uh, did Accio's leg pop up like 
like not bloodily or nope it just detached okay no blood cool. uh, okay well like... i guess we can look into getting you some sort of iteron replacement maybe or a peg akio just imagine you, you could have a really cool robotic leg yeah or a peg what the fuck? akio's on the floor yeah, you can get like a wood, like a nice polished wood one. Yeah, with like a little cloth so all foot. you know is that your leg was just just <laughs> randomly popped off and then was stolen by a demon. Where <laughs> does it, hey, at what point does it detach? Like what? Uh, where it's on the leg? The hip. Wow. Oh wow, that's that's like up in the up. In yeah, the... man, that's a whole leg. Why did I become like a Ken doll? Because <laughs> he drank a potion that he didn't know what it was out of a watch. Hey, you need to check if your if your your bits are still there. Wait, oh. make sure you're not getting all smooth. Wait, Oof. I do was have good the, news. Nuva. Was the leg was the leg still in the armor? Yes. Fucking asshole. Oh, he <laughs> does have good news though. What's the good news, Professor? You're only down one of the previously noted silver linings. Okay. <laughs> you still have the watch. <laughs> 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 Good thing you didn't lose your arms. <laughs> I, I I have a request. Can we please mulligan the last like fifteen minutes? No. Absolutely not. No. Okay. No. <laughs> you got the one from us on an airship and all that happening is too good. We, Sada, Sada we're, Sada just we're like... just. <laughs> So I don't just I... stare steadily ahead. Should I just turn the ship around? Should we just go back to half? No, no. We I can know. we can handle this down one leg, I think. I look at my watch. Is it at least working? Yes, it works. Okay. Actually, as soon as you remove the liquid from it, it started ticking again. That's nice. Well, at least there's that. <sighs> Are you in pain? Or is it just... It's just, uh, is it is completely painless. Strange. I don't. It's weird, but I can't get up, and none of you seem to want to help me. Look, well, I'm, I'm piloting the airship. Of course, I'll help you up. Get back in your chair. Why did we? Oh, I've become an old man. You'll get a cool new leg. It's it's fine. Oh, uh, I wanted to meet some goblins. How am I gonna kill them now? We're gonna meet the goblins. You, Why would you kill make the Make you a crutch or something. Oh, just in case. I, I don't think maybe I think the goblins. Fine. Maybe the goblins can give you a new leg. Oh, I don't want a goblin leg. Oh, oh man, how? Why not just? Why don't? Why don't you just want one short leg with one long <laughs> leg? How are you gonna do a dazzling display now? <laughs> I, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> man can't fight. Man can't dance. That's tragedy. No, we're gonna get you like the coolest robotic leg, or well, like Iteron leg. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, that would probably be pretty cool. cool. The devil just showed up, stole his leg, and then disappeared. We can all chip in and get it gold plated. What the fuck just happened? Yeah. Why, why, why did he? Why did he take? Me? Why now the, I think the because real Kasumi here, offered. I did. I didn't offer him shit. I just said, "Hey." He said, what? "Is there anything we can do?" What do you want me That's to say? An offer. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Powerful. Why do you I have to be careful when you're contending with demons? You this is yeah, what so happens. I'm not going to challenge it. I'm just going to add for the you don't, to it. No, you don't offer them you anything. You gave them a little bit of wiggle room, and now Akio's leg is gone. You should have pushed, you should have used your water power and pushed them off the edge. I don't think that would have worked. I think I would have died. But I guess it's okay if you guys want me to die. I'll, I'll call them back. I'll note that Lero has very large and very obvious wings. Ah. Never mind then. Oh, is he back? <laughs> no, he was just telling me. Because I said, what if we use gravity against him? But no, he could apply it. Like, I guess. I this could have. This should have been just a loading screen, us in the airship, you know? <laughs> but no, we, <laughs> we drank the potions. Ah. You can't say that you weren't curious about the potion, too. I would no. never drink a mysterious uh, potion. More... Okay, Lero's but there's still just... one more potion, and I want it. No! By the way, Lero's... Oh, uh, I mean, what if it does bring your leg back? On, char on his character sheet is described just... Uh, is called just sexy armor. <laughs> I have no nice. idea what I based it on, but that's what Sick. it is. Love it. It's, it's... Um, but yeah, uh, uh, 
this you just leave Edric sitting there holding the honeycomb with the slimy purple liquid in it. That yeah. is, hey, uh, Edric, that isn't by chance like a, a leg return, leg regeneration potion, is it? Well, if you want, I can cast identify. Yeah. And figure that yeah. out for you. you I recommend that. identifying all potions you carry on your person beforehand. There is the last one. An alternative way to identify it. There is. There is. You could just drink it. No. <laughs> we saw how all that worked. Um, for the next 10 minutes of flying, as you all just sort of recover from what just happened, uh, Edric casts a spell. And eventually, after looking at the purple liquid, after a circle appears around it and bright light encompasses it, uh, it's insta kill. He nods and Stagely. lifts it up. This will make whoever drinks it 1d6 inches taller. Oh one d uh, inches taller. Matt Bayer grabs it and drinks it. <laughs> Matt Bayer unfortunately cannot. Yeah, he's, he's, in a he's, stuck, he's stuck in the lower deck. Kasumi yeah. grabs it and drinks it. Oh, why no. You, why, Giant why, woman. I want to be tall. I want to be thick. My, my whole gimmick <sighs> as a player is I play exclusively tall characters, and you took this from me, you son of a bitch. Kasumi, roll a d6. <laughs> this one just seems like a win-win. I'm one inch taller. <laughs> one inch. Hey, an yeah, inch is a lot. You, Kasumi, you literally inch taller. I am for now about five, six. Five minutes. Oh, Before no, you sure. return to your regular height. <clears throat> oh my god. You know, I used to have nightmares of being on a ship, and then one day I'm just gonna, like, not eat a fruit and drink, and, and, and yeah, you know, ginger fat, wait. Did you lose part of your brain as well? <laughs> Are you okay? I don't know, I'm not. Oh I'm boy. Like, I'm looking at Don't, what don't you worry, look? little buddy. We're going to get is, you a new leg. Is it just a gap, or is it like a oh, dark void of blackness? I, like, mean, I imagine it's I think just, just like, an amputee. I think, I think it's just a stump, right? It's it's just, can you see? A, it, it's just a sheen of skin. It's like yeah. nothing's ever been there before. Like A completely flat surface where it like, has detached. <laughs> like, imagine the good deal he got out of that leg. It came with the bone... It has the armor around it, so it's gonna stay fresh. For all, for all you know, the leg still worked, and it was, was the leg still wiggling around, Sal's? What? One no. second. Oh, okay. Um, what? If, what if work... Akio could control his leg still? He can't. Do I feel? <laughs> am I gonna? I I don't feel the leg right now. There's no. Is there phantom pain? Am I having phantom pain? You didn't have any pain in the first place. Um, oh. The leg. No, you do not have any like phantom sensations from the leg at this time. Pow! That yeah. was my favorite leg. Maybe okay. even my favorite appendage. Really? No. Really? Okay. I have a favorite appendage, but I can't talk about it. Here. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish. I wish. I wish you had lost that one. Oh, <laughs> it's, kind it's of brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I'm so sorry not really I, I have no regrets I got a free watch oh my god so wait then you're fine right you don't have any regrets no I want my leg back you're the one who said you have no regrets I why did you get my leg to a demon I didn't I was trying to negotiate with a thing that could kill me on a whim I'm just <sighs> Look, I'd like to see you guys deal with it. I just offered I, it an apology. I, I wouldn't have. Drunk, I did. I wouldn't have drunk the potion. Yeah, <laughs> I did yeah. offer it an apology, and it, it was making it very clear that he was not happy with it. Look, best hand I could play. Look, look. Just give me a drink. I, 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 I need, I need my sippy coat. I need, I need all the rum of the ship. I need my hey. sippy coat. Hey, Rita, are you drawing something right now? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get over it. But for, well, I won't. But right now, I, I can, I'm losing it, guys. This is, this is a, this is not a wound. Oh God. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're not wounded. 
if the other guys find out I lost my leg like this. I mean, it'll be funny, but my God, what a way to end a career. Oh, God, I hope I get a leg. Oh, God. A leg up on the competition? Shut the fuck up! Give me my drink! <laughs> Give me a drink! The tall woman. Fuck you. She tries to get up, but then realizes he can't. It just sits there. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap. Don't okay. worry. We'll, we'll get you, we'll, we'll get you fixed up. I actually I can't believe I miss fighting vampires. Oh, oh. Uh, this is all my fault. Oh, what is what is the sin of man? Chuck, you're just losing it. I'm just I'm just letting you all know right now. All right, it's just more of this. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is this a fate worse? I, I, I have to see how this plays out. Did I kill my character? Did I kill Akio? No, you no can, we, can get you cool, we can get you a cool leg. Perfectly yeah. fine, except that he is down one kind of important appendage. Yeah. I guess we'll see now. For, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, there's Iterons on this island, so. so yeah, so we'll just go to, to go talk to the Iterons. After your eventful couple hour long trip, you land next. You finally arrive at the what you have been told is the location of the Goblin Settlement. And as you begin sort of like sailing overhead, you can actually see um, where a sort of large pit has been dug into the ground, um, and in it, uh, are made, made from our various earthworks, uh, various, uh, sorts of buildings that have been sort of crammed in together, uh, around a sort of central, uh, fire pit of a, uh, uh plaza, uh, and, uh, and within it, you can see it is teeming, with little green people, Jeez. with large heads and many teeth, um, the uh, pit itself is ringed by a uh, fairly rudimentary but still very quite sturdy-looking palisade. Um, and at its gates are stationed uh, what appear to be pair of goblin samurai oh hell yeah i uh, need to find a picture of goblin samurai now <laughs> goblin samurai as you land in front of it yeah. uh these two goblins in oyori armor um pull out their a pair uh, each pull out of kat a katana which you can tell is a katana sized for a human <laughs> so in their hands it's it's more like a nodachi they're they're holding it nice. uh two-handed um and their their tiny hands are sort of not quite really fitting around the uh grip as um well as it's really meant to is there anything oh by the way is there anything we can give like akia like for like a makeshift crutch i guess for for the time being <laughs> do you have anything on you I that don't know. you Thinking. could use for such I'll oh hell yeah! Look ship. at that picture. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna wait on the ship. You go <laughs> maybe maybe Batfire can carry you. No. <laughs> the the ultimate union of master and student. I mean, no. Batfire gets off the ship, and yeah, Batfire can carry a person quite easily. I will not be carried around like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can just. You'd be you'd be right. Actually, well, that's the thing. Also, actually, it it, it would be really difficult to ride a horse with only one leg. Yeah. <laughs> I you guess know, you can ride it sort of side saddle and just sort of sit on his back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you're like sidled up to Batbear's torso, you can sort of hold on to that. What? 
you can hold on to Batfire's actual like torso if yeah. you need to steady steady yourself. Like have yeah, your hands on his like shoulders. His, his actual shoulders, yeah. Because he has oh, okay, he's a human but... body instead of a horse. Oh Part. thank God, I I misinterpreted that. I thought I'd have to grab his abs. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you could I you could do that, do that too if you wanted to. Yeah. He's no. wearing armor. You'd be holding onto that, really. Oh yeah. Um. So, you all get off the boat, and these two goblin samurai. And actually, as you get off, you can see that the sam that the armor on these goblins is sort of like over is quite oversized it's sort of been like uh sort of it's been jury rigged to fit on them a bit better it looks like they have an under helmet on on underneath the helmet in order to hold it in place uh although actually no go uh, goblin heads are basically are humongous so actually yeah. no the, go the the head uh the, the helmet fits fine the rest of the armor um <laughs> They're, they're swimming in a bit. They look like they have a lot of excess padding underneath the uh, plates of the armor, of the chest plate, in order to actually not have any wobble around on their scrawny little torso, um, which, as a result, might actually make it a quite a bit more pro protective than it otherwise would be. Um, but yeah, they are uh, sort of both aiming their blades at you and as you well what do you do uh you uh, um you land the ship yeah. uh how close to them are you landing or are you landing or are you just going to like strafe them from the sky i don't know what you're doing what I'm do thinking. you do hmm. should we land at this distance away and then walk up maybe i don't know how far from them are we currently flying yeah. above yeah, flying their above uh, encampment but by like how much? Up to you. Oh, are we within hollering distance? I mean, you can be. We could just holler at them politely. Do we need to say it in Goblin though? I don't know. And that's why I have Edric with us. So <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I guess uh, let's land it just a little bit in front there. I guess by the gate. And slowly approach. Okay, okay so as you're flying over, uh, obviously they do see you. Um, and uh, you can sort of see looking down into it that uh, there are goblins just like streaming out of the various little uh, earthwork huts, which you're guessing are not just huts. They're probably entrances into underground, underground dwell yeah. dwellings um yeah. because there's no way this many goblins fit into those <laughs> huts there are tons of them uh running out where uh uh actually fairly well equipped for goblins they are um while many of the goblins are sort of like running around uh trying to get uh various things away um looking more along the lines of civilians civilian goblins which Again, Sada is not something Very weird. you know yeah. as a concept. Um, others are sort of, while none are as well armored as the two guys at the gates, they're marshalling into a uh, sort of uh, large contingent of goblins sort of uniformly equipped with spears and helmets and uh, a sort of rudimentary breastplate. Um, <clears throat> and you land, uh, and as you are getting out of the ship, you can see that the little gate of their, uh, goblin home has been raised up. Uh, it was, it's sort of like a, a, um, drawbridge sort of thing. Uh, and so currently the goblin town is sealed to you. And the only thing outside of it are those two goblin samurai. I could uh, uh, I could say hi. Yeah, I guess I, 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 I try to approach on Thunder. I put my hands up, I guess, away from my, my blade. Yeah. Hello? Can you understand uh, me? The goblins do not respond to you. Um, 
they hold their swords at you, uh, sword towards you very suspiciously, but they do not attack. Can you speak Goblinese? <laughs> oh. Maybe. Pal, Pal can speak every language, so. Well, say hello. Yeah. Sada, okay. as you approach, one of the goblins sort of shouts at you in a language that you cannot understand. Uh, okay. See, they can talk. Just, Greetings. Just... Wait, wait, wait. What did they say? Oh, yeah. What yeah. did they say? All right. Um, Pow, as the uh, as the speaker of goblin here. Um, now I you, am. Yeah. You understand the um, goblin as saying, "Get back! Do not approach! Keep away from me!" Basically right. the same thing in three different ways. <laughs> as a um, uh, as Pal talks to them, uh, Pal I guess explains them. I'm gonna get Edric to cast a spell quick so we can understand them. Uh, uh, wait, the... wait! Before oh. you do that, okay. Maybe you know, don't do magic in front of them before. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll let Pal settle it in first now. Edric would basically raise the same issue to you, Sada. Yeah. You, if you ask him to cast a spell, he'd just tell you, no, I think that's a really bad idea right now, actually. Yeah. Um, so I was saying, Kyle should explain it first. On the other hand, you can't speak Goblin because of the tongue of the sun and moon. So what do you Ooh. say back? Uh, greetings? We wish Both to... goblin heads snap to you immediately, like <laughs> with looks of just complete incredulity. And wave a little bit. We wish to have a a peaceful chat, if that's possible. Our leader with yours. The two goblins look at each other and look back to you. Who are you? And why do you want to have a chat with us? Uh, my leader rules the lands outside of your own. And we've heard there's been some uh, trouble between our nations. And we'd like to... Are you the ones who sent... The ones with the conical hats. What? Did we, did we do that? Yeah, that's did, our, 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 our soldiers. Do our guys have pointy hats? The yes. Ashigaru do wear conical hats. Oh, yes. yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, yep. They didn't know you were here until they found you, though. They sent the cone heads. Oh, dear. <laughs> They narrow their eyes at you. You sent the cone heads to attack us. To scout this area. You sent the cone heads to scout the area to prepare to attack us. <laughs> we we truly did not know that. You were sort of here doing your own thing, and now that we are aware of that, we would like to come to a peaceful agreement. Perhaps friendship? Beneficial to both parties? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy. Hey, not a bad roll. Um, so the two samurai goblins look very suspicious of you. On the other hand, they are also looking at you as a bunch of people that literally flew out of the sky on a flying ship um, and all individually look pretty dangerous and not necessarily something that they want to take on. And so after exchanging a couple words between themselves, turn back to you and goes, you will wait here. We will bring our leader. Okay. If you make any aggressive moves, we will throw all of our spears at you. 
specifically. <laughs> at, at I I accept <laughs> this. Yes. Okay. Hey, pal. Open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I love them so much. Yeah. So these guys think they were attacked yeah, by our guys, okay. and I was about to they ask all you what what they said. Yeah. They uh yeah. they don't like our conehead guys. We said. <laughs> Uh, Code. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or actually, Garu soldiers wear uh, wear conical hats. They seem to be a- afraid of the n- invasion and attack. So uh, just be chill. Okay. You think uh, we have a chance to cast tongues? You think? How long does that cast take? I mean, I don't it, think it takes very long. I think it only takes uh, around standard action. Uh, it only takes yeah. It only takes about six seconds for me to cast it. Um, but I would get permission first. Yeah. Yeah, you do. And you have you'd have to like wave your arms around and do something crazy, right? I could try to do it surreptitiously, but uh, we'll we'll wait till they're back, I guess. Maybe maybe don't do that and have. What is that? Then you can tell them, pal. Can you guys not hear me? Yeah. No, No, we can. Yep, we can hear you. Right now we have pal acting as ambassador, so I kind of don't want like I don't like. I don't know. I feel like I mean, information is kind of the name of the game here, and you don't want to this, shock them by yeah. having them. I mean, this whole thing is old... this whole thing is really weird. Look, right, so... as someone look as someone who just had spontaneous. Oh yeah, I mean, after after what happened to us on the airship, I guess it's not that weird. You know, a, a yeah. demon show up and stole your leg. Shut. <laughs> I glare at um, you. <laughs> the drawbridge lowers, uh, and one of the samurai goblins walks in. Um, and you can see, like, beyond is just, like, a phalanx of goblins with spears. And as the samurai approaches them, um, like, the middle two columns of them snap back into other positions in an actually exceptionally disciplined display as the goblin walks past them, and then they go back into their regular position in order to uh, fill in the gap that is, the goblin is leaving as he walks through. Um, the goblins are all looking at you, not necessarily with their stat- spear held at the ready, but they they are all looking at you very suspiciously and a, with more than a little trepidation. Um, but eventually, another goblin shows up. The samurai goblin that walked into the, sam- the goblin settlement comes back with... A goblin. Hmm. Gasp. <laughs> what a what a twist. <laughs> yes. A goblin. I can speak. Who is severely, who at some point was severely injured. You can tell. Uh-huh. Because about three quarters of this goblin's skull has been replaced with an iron substitute. Damn. Over which its skin has not regrown. That's raw as hell. Does it look fresh? Uh, no, it, it looks like it's been there. Okay. Um, but it looks like it's being well maintained, so fortunately it's not rusting, which would probably be bad Pretty for bad. him. Pretty bad, yeah. Um, but it, it, it looks like it was sort of like pounded into shape. It doesn't look like it's a, it was like made for the purpose. Um, so it's sort of like dented and sort of wobbly on its surface. Cool. Um, but it's also been shined as much as iron can be. Um, and this goblin sort of walks up to you. Uh, you can see that one of the goblin's eyes, uh, on the side where more of the skull is been replaced uh as the 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 damage is sort of tottered it's sort of favored towards its left side where most of the left side of the skull um basically the entire left side of the skull has been replaced and the injury um includes maybe uh, a bit more the right side uh, side as well probably about 60 percent of its skull overall um and you can see that on its left side, it's actually missing its ear, and its left eye is sort of just staring off, unseeing into to the left, while its right eye fixes upon each of you, 
in turn. And he walks up to you and just looks at you. All right, what do you want? <laughs> in Goblin? In Goblin. Okay. Are you the leader of this? As much as one is a leader, yes, I suppose I am. Who are you? Uh, I serve the leader of the lands outside your own. Uh, we wish to speak peacefully. Ah, the Conehead people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. You wish to speak peacefully? Well, we're speaking peacefully. What do you want? Uh, if you would permit us, um, a spell could be cast so that my people can speak freely with you. Um, All right. If you'd allow it. A spell. Well, I'll warn you, we mm -hmm. have several powerful magicians of our own <laughs> in that town. And if that spell is anything untoward, we will huh? know. And the word will go out for us to bring all of our military might down upon your heads. Certainly. Um, no no deceit will be had here. Okay, you, could, you can cast the spell. Uh, it's cool. Right. Nothing else, though. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Edric casts a spell and touches each of you in turn, and uh, there's a slight strange intrusion into your minds as suddenly you can speak every language. <laughs> um, okay, this uh, this lasts for about... Um, well, it lasts about a little bit over an hour. Yeah. What was that bit in my head where we meant yes? That was weird. <laughs> Mont Francois? Yeah, that that stupid shit. What was that about? Mont Francais. Oh. Mont Francais, yes. That's the actual country. The language is Mont Francais. Oh, okay. So, All um, right, uh, I guess that, uh, Steph Swarren says, uh, greetings. I am Sada Ryoto, daimyo of, uh, Tsurugu. Hi, how are you? Good. How about you? <laughs> Not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> my, name's, my name's Cream. Cream? <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> Did he name himself? <laughs> Probably. But yeah, I'm Cream. All right. Nice to meet you. I am the. Uh, Head goblin of this village, duly elected by these other goblins. Ah, wait, they have a democratic process? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right. So I heard you. Uh, you well, I don't yeah, really I heard know you. What the democratic process is? But, <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. So yeah, we heard you ran to our uh, our soldiers there, the Ashu Ashigaru soldiers, which I guess you're calling them the Coneheads. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I didn't know what they are actually yeah. called, so uh, I mean, understandable, hats. yeah, <laughs> Ashigaru soldiers. So they are soldiers, though, yes. they, they were here to fight. No, we uh, we sent them out to okay. scout, out, scout out the island, basically. Ah, oh, scout out the island. Well, typically, you scout out something if you're intending to fight it. Well, I mean, it's more like we're, we're waiting to see, we're looking to see where we can expand our territory and if there's anything dangerous. There's actually ah. a, a, a giant monster on the other side of the island they discovered, so... So you are looking to expand your territory, though. Yes, but I mean... Ah. Not if not to, not forcibly, though. Not forcibly? <laughs> yeah. That's good. So you've never conquered one of uh, some other place by force? I mean, in a way, but not like not in this way. I'm just glaring at it's you. Hard, it's hard to describe. Are we, are we were hmm. part of a, a rebellion against the the former government of this island. Okay. Yeah. Uh, answer me this. Did you have anything to do with the army that killed about 300 goblins uh, about a year and a half ago? 
There's a horde of goblins about a little bit northeast of here. We did. Yeah. Is that us? Y'all, we did. Uh -oh. I'm just kind of sitting here baffled that they also have a sense of time. I mean, Akio has no people. idea. <laughs> and also, yeah, I wouldn't really know. Fat Bear does, though. He was there. Oh, he probably had a couple of heads back in the office. He had a grand old time, as I recall. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me think. What's the best way to go about this? Hmm. Your, uh, your silence is a little notable, <laughs> I gotta say. Hey. We might have. You might have. Yeah. Were these goblins just not noticeable enough? Notable enough that you've actually forgot like slaughtering them wholesale? No, I can see that being a problem. You know, we are very small. <laughs> On account no, yeah. of you know, goblins get slaughtered indiscriminately. Yes, by pretty much everyone, really. Yeah, this is including uh... other goblins. Yeah, that was yeah, us. This... How was and, you? Yes, oh. I will admit to that. Okay. And hopefully get ready to run away. <laughs> well. You know, I got mixed feelings about this situation. On the one hand, you killed 300 or so of uh, my larger goblin family. On the other hand, you killed our former chief and his 300 best fighting goblins, which gave me a chance to actually free the rest of us. Oh. Free? Yeah. You may notice that our goblins are not, that we goblins here in our little goblin abode, are uh, not uh, trying to murder you immediately. Yes. That's, that was part of the reason why we decided to come talk to you. Well, I appreciate Because your... you just decided not to try to murder us. So. <laughs> well, not uh, everyone have been that considerate, so I appreciate your having done so. Um, the other thing is that, yes, uh, you did sort of accidentally uh, help me help the rest of my fellows here That's... from our goblin issue. That's good? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, on the bright side... I don't see any reason why you need to have further conflict. Me neither. Especially since you've already demonstrated your power in uh, murdering all of the... Uh, excuse me. No, I'm losing my accent. Uh, moitoing all of... <laughs> uh, Ooh, it came back strong, yeah. Uh, all them other goblins, what uh, you killed a year and a half ago. Uh, I'm thinking that since then you've probably only gone stronger. Yeah. Uh, and so while there's only seven of you here right now, I suspect the seven of you can probably escape on that flying ship thing, come back with a whole bunch of guys that could uh, make us no longer here anymore. Probably, though I would and rather I it not be that. Again, <laughs> Yes, not well, preferable. I appreciate, again, that consideration. Uh, we would go down fighting, and the, probably a bunch of guys would die too. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, I don't really see very much reason to make much in the way of accommodation to you if you would just simply leave us alone, which we would prefer. Akio raises his hand. Um, what what is it, Akio? You're not. I thought you weren't here. Akio's no. there. Well, he's on the ship. He yeah. He raises his hand for him off. <laughs> <over there. laughs> 
Oh, okay. Yeah, remember, Akio, you did not uh, join them because you yeah. didn't ride Batfire, and they don't have a way of making you a crutch. Sorry, sorry. I, uh, I guess, I guess I'm, I, I raised my hand by myself in the empty room. Uh, I should have had them open up a game of chess <laughs> so I could play against myself. I wonder what they're talking about over there. <laughs> I hope it's not with any any thick axe and goblins. I hope they bring back some goblin liquor. Oh, I'd really like to. Um, so. so here is what I would propose. You uh, leave us to our little corner of this island where we will stay and get some agriculture going maybe some animal husbandry <laughs> and we will not bother you or your larger country or nation or kingdom or what have you uh and we'll leave each other to our own devices maybe we can trade a little yeah i was saying i mean Maybe we can't. I don't know. We don't have a lot here. All of our buildings are made of dirt. Yeah. Uh, we don't exactly have a mine. Uh, we haven't gone raiding in a while. Um, uh, I will note that uh, in the ages prior, uh, our goblin settlement before you discovered it here, did um, go about and uh, kill uh, uh, a fair number of the humans that were living in this area. Um, that's why Glip and Tom are wearing your fancy armor here. Yeah. But uh, that was a while ago. Uh, we will return this if you feel necessary. It's. I think it's fine. <laughs> I mean, if you want right. to be, if you want to be left alone, that's your business. But I also wouldn't mind us trying to, well, form some kind of friendship. I guess. If you, well, if you, good. yeah, if you don't mind. Uh, well, we friendship in this large uh, and largely hostile world. Would be very happy. Would be very good for us. Um, if it would mean that uh, the locals, who are no doubt probably very um, unfriendly towards goblins, for admittedly perhaps good reason, uh, if they would like to not uh, murder us, moiter us, uh, and if you could prevent them from moitering us, we would appreciate that. Uh, and otherwise, yes, we will leave you alone. We will have a little area here, and we will perhaps have greater interactions in the future. Okay. Greater. <laughs> but for the time being, we would hope that you would simply encourage <laughs> your turning people. into a baby. <laughs> no, you know who he's turning into? Albert Fudd. In... No, the, the, <laughs> the bishop from Spaceballs. Oh, no, not, uh, not from Spaceballs. Excuse me, Princess Bride. Yes. Mowage. Mowage <laughs> is what gathers us together today. <laughs> but yes, if you could just, um, just gather yourselves up and get on that flying boat and uh, fly back to do whatever very important, I'm sure, things that you have to do, and we can continue being our own little enclave here okay. without problem. I guess uh, I have one more question for you, actually. Have you dealt with the uh, the Skitterkin? Uh, Skitterkin. The, 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 rat, the rat people? Mm, thankfully, no. Okay. Uh, there is one sort of people with whom goblins get along worse than everyone else and actually that's dwarves but uh 
but just behind them are are Skidakin. Okay. So it's actually two people. Okay. Two, we're, two we're... sorts of people. There are two sorts of people in the world. No, that doesn't make any sense. But yes, uh, no, we have not had any interaction with Skidakin, thankfully, because we are a very small little town of goblins, okay. and Skidakin tend to congregate in uh, larger numbers than what we have here, especially any trails off. And yes, so no, we have not had any interaction with any Skidakin hostile or no. Okay. Uh, and we'd prefer not to, honestly, because they'd probably attack us. Okay, I was just, well, making sure, because you guys are, I'm guessing your settlement goes underground somewhat, yeah? It does, not... Okay. That not deep. that far, though? Okay. Because do you know there's a Skitterkin uh, colony on Sarugu? I had no idea, no. Yeah. There's a uh, deep, deep underground there. And there we uh, we have an probably, alliance with them as let well. Let me so. guess. They're uh, they're squatting in old dwarven ruins? Yeah, in Crystalmar. I have no idea what Crystalmar is, <laughs> but uh, I'll assume that that's where the Skitterkin are living. Yeah. Um. Okay. This guy's weirdly on the ball for someone that lives in a hut of dirt. <laughs> yes, well, you see, I read books. Nice. The books, you say? Yes. Everyone reads books around here. What kind of books do you like to read? Let's read some books. Well, I have a few books from what were captured on previous raids, and I was able to save from being burned. <sighs> That's awesome. Uh, do you, hey, uh, I have uh, some neat books you might would like to maybe check out sometime. Maybe we could do a book swap one day. He narrows his eyes at you, his eye rather, and looks at you and goes, Ah, uh, you know, hold that thought. We'll, uh, okay. we might come back to that. Yeah. This is where we're gonna, this is where we're gonna establish our first library. Um, <laughs> so. I would prefer if uh, we did not have much further in interaction today. You'll have to excuse me being a bad host, but I do not That's, intend on yeah. hosting you tonight. Yeah, it's fine. Um, please do not take this the wrong way, but I do not trust you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> also understandable. Uh Anything else you need from me, uh, or can I go back into my town and tell everybody that uh, things are okay? We're not going to be attacked. Yeah, it's fine. No, I guess I guess that should be okay. We'll we'll tell our people to. Uh, I guess this is an off limit zone, I suppose. So people stay away. Don't bother you. Hopefully. Okay. And uh, okay. I don't know if we should we if we should tell a skitter again, but. Um. I mean, that's up to you. And just as long as they don't come up here and attack us. No. There's a few on yeah. their council. I figure, I feel would would be all all right with not doing anything. But there's some others I don't. I'm not sure about. It's probably best just leave that yeah. be. Okay. Well, uh, appreciate your uh, discretion. Hmm. All right. Until next we meet, I suppose. Right. We'll uh if we need anything, we'll call you. Okay. <laughs> uh, good right. luck. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going back inside. Everybody, get <laughs> have a get have back a good day. Your, have a good day. <laughs> uh, you too. And uh, everybody, you can go back to your things. You can put down the spears. And with that, he sort of like shuffles back inside. The the goblins sort of don't quite disperse yet. Um, but they they do pull up the um the gate close the drawbridge and you can sort of see here behind the sounds of uh, a a throng of people meandering about as perhaps they are uh, uh dispersing or um disbanding uh leaving just you two and gleep and tomb the two not you two the, your group and also <laughs> gleep and tomb the two uh goblin samurai who are technically not really samurai they are just dressed as them, or <laughs> equipped as them, as them. You can make them samurai right now if you wanted. Maybe. But that'd be up to you. <laughs> Next time. Make them do it. Name <laughs> them samurai.
Right, so well, with uh, that, the, a... <laughs> the, go the Goblin Settlement is closed up to you. Gleep and Tomb are sort of looking at you. Not quite as distrustful as before, but uh, still a little suspicious. Um, All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gone out of here. That was cool. That was, uh, yeah. Interesting. About to figure yeah. out how to proceed, I suppose. But for now, it seems things are all right. Yeah, I didn't expect that exactly, but it's good, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I bow to uh, Gleam in, in Tomb. Leap. Leap. Okay, leap. Okay. <laughs> No, Gleep. Oh, Gleep. Gleep. <laughs> yeah, but he corrects you three times. <laughs> My name is Gleep. Bye, Gleep. All right. I bow, bow to him bow. as a farewell, say goodbye, and I guess we head back to the uh, airship. All right. Was there a leader's name Cream? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. Damn, we'll just, yeah, I was going to say we should just mark that off as goblin territory for now. Yeah, I guess so. And, and Talz has already yeah. done so. All right, let's we head back to... We have a third faction on your island. <laughs> and now we'll have to make 11, 1107 and become the Hydra, Hydra tile. When it turns out the Hydra is, is smart. <laughs> it becomes the fourth faction. Yes. <laughs> I am a country of one. <laughs> Hydra loves books. Turns Hydra, out. Hydra, Hydra, Onia. It's a, it's a, it's a the diplomacy, but there's only one person, so he always wins. No, <laughs> you, uh, you have diplomacy with one of its heads, duly elected <laughs> by the other eleven. Yeah, all the other heads. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <It's> nice. <laughs> all right, let's head back to Yava and get uh, see if we can figure out. And about you getting find out here. that there's actually like incredible intrigue. With... <laughs> Head the, head? To, the t head that you're talking to is not <laughs> the best head for the job, but oh, managed man. to get there by cashing in favors with the other heads. And <laughs> the other heads that were passed over are extremely... Anyway. <laughs> uh, so yes, you get back to your skyship. Um, what do you do? Where do you go? Uh, you, uh, you basically have now made contact with a very distrustful goblin settlement but distrustful and not actively attacking people is better than um most dealings with goblins hmm. all right i guess uh for now we'll uh let's head back to yava i guess we'll send out some messages to like to like uh god i forget what the uh, the name of the town heads are um, depends. Uh, there are village elders or there are magistrates. Okay. Um, hetmen in uh, EO are yeah. Bozu. elders. Um, versus magistrates in the larger towns like Kamako and Shugo. All right. So yeah, I guess we'll set up. A, I guess I'll send out messages to the magistrates and just, I guess, and fill uh, in the I'll rest note of the that government. It's it's still fairly early in the day. It's like early afternoon. It's like one yeah. o'clock. Yeah, but uh, Akio doesn't have a leg. <laughs> That's true. What do you want to? I want to go to the Yaba and take him to the clockwork, or maybe we should go to the Iteron settlement. I don't know. You just show up on Agmentai's doorstep, yes. <laughs> Which I'm not sure how how much of a fan he'd be of that. So, so I think maybe going back to the to, to Hayaba first and talking with a, a calculator man would be our best bet. Pardax. Pardax, yes. <laughs> I will note that the Hydra is right over there, also. Yeah, Ooh, but Akio doesn't have Ak Hydra. Akio doesn't have a leg. Ooh, but a Hydra! <laughs> okay, we'll come back for the Hydra. <laughs> Sounds exciting. <laughs> it's been a while since we fought like a a big like a monster, mindless beast. Yeah. yeah, something I can, you know, kind of we can get enjoy. Cutless. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. It's really feel good about killing it, even yeah. though it's just trying to live. I mean, it's. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's just a, it's a monster that, that that causes ecological disaster wherever it goes. Yeah. Oh, I can't help that it's big. <laughs> it's it's become so powerful it has no prey. 
I mean, no predator. <laughs> Except for man. Oh Does that not make man the greatest <laughs> monster at all? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you fly back to Hayaba. You get back there. It's getting back to the late afternoon. You're it's about, uh, say, um, four or five o'clock by the time you get Hayaba. Uh, so still got quite a few hours of daylight left. But getting close to the time, then you might be looking to eat dinner. Yes. Um, uh, and yes, so you Akio land at Hayaba it. Castle. Uh, Akio, you have spent the journey uh, basically sitting in one place, um, trying to get used to having only one leg. Um, it's not very comfortable. Luckily, you're... Um, you're well, butt is uh, entirely intact, so you can still sit down normally. But when that there's or, a turn, or if there's some turbulence, you do have an issue of suddenly like leaning over to your right and not being able to really stop yourself as easily as you once were. Oh, I guess I uh, know what I do ask. Can Edric detect any weird magic with the leg spot? Uh, Edric cannot... <laughs> Okay. Nope. This is it's just okay. It is. It's, it's just like it was amputated. It's huh. it's gone. All right. Uh, I mean, we know where it is. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for a campaign where I'm playing with cells and we go down there and there it is as a lamp and it's like, hey, look, it's your leg. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh... Yeah. The next campaign when we get to the realm of Polonius, they'll be there. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if I neighbor mm -hmm. if, if Greta might know regeneration. Because I think she's our highest level like priest or cleric around here. He is tied for your highest level priest? Ah. Or cleric rather I should say. Oh yeah. Um uh the Sylvan High Priest is also level ah, 12. Okay, cool. Tonu Ayapa is actually only level 11. Ah, okay. Um, which is, strictly speaking, not information that you would know, but because obviously levels don't really, <laughs> don't really exist. Um, anyway, so you land in Hayaba. What do you do? Landing on Hayaba Castle Courtyard, a few guards come over to you to help you unload. Um, <laughs> you gotta help us unload Akio. And immediately, she's like, oh my god, what happened? Were you attacked? Did the goblins try to kill you? No, We will demon, summon demon. the army no, to no, destroy demon. these goblins. No, demon. the goblins not... were cool. Yeah. Demon oh? stole, the demons, demon stole it. A, a demon stole it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, you, you would not believe the luck. Um, immediately, uh, like you can, you can almost see the rumor mill generating um, throughout your castle. Just like our 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 leadership has been fighting demons again, and a demon stole Rakio's leg. Yep, let's leave it at that. That's, that's totally yeah. what happened. Respectable, sure. We, we all just like look at each other and then nod sagely. Uh -huh. You know what? Make a, <laughs> this will be very easy. Uh, I think you can only basically roll a one and fail this. But Don't I need that. you to make a <laughs> uh, kingdom roll. A I need kingdom? you to make a loyalty check. Ah, oh. what? What? What do I roll what? for that? Um. Well, it would be the kingdom stat. Uh. Right. So let me look at that up. The reason why I'm having you roll this. This is to determine whether or not this uh, rumor about uh -oh. you fighting demons and one stole your leg uh, turning into something bad. Oh, no. <laughs> like, what? Like, oh, they were consorting with demons oh, and one stole God. like. leg. Um, well... The control DC of your kingdom is, 100, is 113. Uh, wrong. The, the loyalty bonus... is 112. Right, so again, you can only roll a one and fail. It's a D20 plus 112, right? Yep. All right. Please don't fuck you're up. Very me. loyal kingdom. There we go. You rolled an 11. You're good. All right. <laughs> uh, the, the rumor remains what it is. You do not have to worry about it mutating into <laughs> uh, 
your your people suddenly trusting you less because they think that you're consorting with demons. Like that Akio traded Which his leg. I will for, note for a... you do it's actually true. do. <laughs> yep. Um not on purpose. We're, no, we're totally wholesome bunch. demon consorting. <laughs> Uh, we everybody, love everybody loves, um, guitars. Yeah. be a sitcom. Yes. But yeah, I guess I, I do send out like a, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, trying to do it like, like a Deborah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do send out like, I guess, messages to our, our garment across the island to basically make sure people don't wander into goblin territory and leave them okay. alone, I guess. Okay. Um, that goes out to your uh, your various uh, leadership in throughout your lands. Um, you'll learn what the response is in the near future. All right. Uh, what are you doing with Akio? Uh, well, let's uh, take him. Let's take him to the uh, to uh, I guess the um, uh, somewhere the, uh, the chamber uh, the lounge. I don't know what rooms we have in here again. Maybe, the uh, lounge. <laughs> it's written on that screen. That on. Let's just take him to the common room. Back first. in my day, I used to have to go get a. Uh, let's go get Betalus and uh, Betalus, be Pardax, and I guess the uh, and uh, Greta and the uh, Silva, the, <laughs> the Sylvan priest there. Let's see who might be able to help him out. <laughs> Sorry. Because we can either see if we can get a prosthetic robot leg, or if we can get a get a just regenerate it. Get a regenerated. Pop I mean, we're gonna see, we're gonna see if we can if they know it. So. Oh, you know what? I kind of like the new one better. Can't wait <laughs> to break it in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. It's, it's not long, you know, you are the ruler of the land. Um, it is not long before your, uh, people respond. Um, and quite soon, uh, Greta shows up as well as the high priest of Silva, whose name always leaves my yes, head. Yes, me too. I am... Uh, I I am in the process of using of setting up World Anvil to actually be a bit faster nice. <laughs> way of uh, referring to things, yeah. so I shouldn't have this issue. But I will uh, point out again: this is this is really all your fault um, <laughs> for having such a broad and wide-reaching campaign, and it has nothing to do with me <laughs> introducing more NPCs than I can possibly remember. Clearly. Um, we should kill him. Yeah, that's hey, one way to get, that's one way to get rid of the problem. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just, just straight up murder all of them, and I won't have to remember them anymore. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to kill you. Why? Because I won't remember how many people are are on this campaign. I have to kill you now. Whatever your name was. You're so already going... dead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going too far back. Clearly, uh, oh, those are names I should remember. I should put bookmarks in this. Um... Oh, there it is. There we go. Um, uh, yes. So Wakoa Natsu, Ooh. the Sylvan High Priest. Oh. Neat. Arrives along with Greta, who, upon seeing Akio's predicament, uh, is sort of like a little incredulous and looks at all of you and just goes, what happened to him? I tripped <laughs> and fell down some stairs. You tripped and fell down some stairs and had your leg amputated as by a precision instrument. Succubus stole his leg. He tripped yeah. and fell down some stairs. I see. Yeah. 
<laughs> what a blow for him. Can you fix it? Do you have the leg? No. Suck oh, the succubus right. stole it. it. It was not stolen by a succubus. Thank you. But without the leg, no, I cannot. <laughs> Nor can I. The yeah. capacity to regenerate limbs is unfortunately beyond me. Damn. Damn it. Maybe ask next level, whatever that means. <laughs> wow. All I right, get uh, that uh, joke. Have, uh, has Pardax and a uh, uh, However, up. it's about at this point that you hear the noise of Pardax entering the room. Um, their cylindrical uh, ch chassis um, comported by it, its four pounding legs um, as Pardax enters and it's, the, its sort of top dome portion rotates with its very rudimentary um, face towards Akio. And you can actually hear the sound of uh, his <laughs> oculars uh, focusing. <laughs> the golden one has been injured. Yes. Severely. Yeah. Hmm. Not really injured. Yeah, he's needed. not like injured, injured. He's just missing a part. <laughs> a pair. Uh, Disassembled. Mm, correct. You are damaged, or yes, lacking an important component. Yes. I can't dance anymore. And unfortunately, this is <laughs> immaterial. What? <laughs> Just like your leg. <laughs> what? Huh? Your leg's no longer material. Yeah. Do you? What have you summoned me for? Well, we don't have the old one anymore, as you can see. So we're wondering if there's any, uh, any way you get like a mechanical prosthetic. If you would know anything about that. I do know of mechanical prostheses being used for organic material uh, organisms. Organic organisms is redundant. Note, do not use phrase again. <laughs> what if you find an inorganic organism? Correct. An iteron is an inorganic organism. Mm, not redundant. Not redundant. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. Regardless, there are such things, yes. Hmm. I know of them. I am not, however, a prosthesis yeah. engineer. Is there anyone anyone among your Iterons who might be able to help us with that? Absolutely. Soul Forger Argumenti is capable of producing any sort of machine. Hmm. His brilliance is beyond <laughs> compare. Do you, think, do you think Argumenti would be willing to help us with that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you think there's any way we can convince them? The combination of machine and <laughs> organics is repulsive to him. <laughs> Unfortunately, hmm. he will be of no assistance. Hmm. Well, Sato just also Sato just had a brain blast. I just remember that the obsessin skitter can on the council. He had prosthetic limbs, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Maybe we can. Uh, Maybe I can get his help, man. Maybe I can have a leg that can connect to the internet. Uh huh. I don't know. I was trying to think of a stupid well. thing to say. <laughs> yep. Let's go. <laughs> uh. A non functional processes can be made. That would be good for the time being. 
or perhaps a wheeled form hmm. of transport. Oh, yeah. A wheel for a leg? <laughs> no, like a wheelchair. Regardless, it is your choice. I wish yeah. you luck with your <laughs> thank you for situation. your uh, thank you for your uh, minor, somewhat minor aid, I guess, or for showing up and trying to help Fardax. <laughs> it was my pleasure. And uh, to Greta and uh, my brain's farting again. If you wish, I could potentially assist with communicating to the Skitterkin. Oh, that would be sure. that'd be good, yeah. Who said that? Rita. Oh, Rita? Okay, then. I could send them a message using right. the sending spell, which, given how you're constantly asking for them, I've taken to preparing. <laughs> yeah. I've met. Uh, you've met Vorkrit, right? Or no, you've met a. Who else have you met? Well, I have, of course, met Vorkrit, the insatiable. Yeah. A singular and wonderful figure. I have also met uh, Lawkeep of Riskit, who, if I had to choose a more dependable form of communicating to another member of their council, I would pick him. Yes, I would pick him as well. If you would compose to me a 25 word message that I can send to him and we can see about perhaps Let me studying, creating a prosthesis. Yeah, I guess uh... <laughs> hmm Trying to think of the words here. Uh, let me roll an intelligence to see if Sada can remember the name of the uh, Sisson Council guy. Skitterkin. You need to look up more names. <laughs> it's been a very long time names. since we talked to him. There's so many names. <laughs> this is the Council of Kizitmit. This is a different one. <laughs> All right, new objective of the campaign is to overload Siles with so many names that he just throws his hands up. The Sun Shop? That, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, no, that was a store in Vivent. Uh, Profanity went to it. Ah, okay. uh, what's the name the of the, the... What's the name of the owner of the Sun Shop? I have no idea. Not written down. Disappeared into the ether. He'll get a new name. <laughs> a new person took over. Okay. Uh, a zombie kraken. That was a fun fight. I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, for one moment, uh, put on the intermission music, please. Uh, oh, I forgot. Music. I forgot. Na, 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 na. music. I forgot about that tonight. Who's worth the angry spoon? So still earlier than this. All right, got gotcha, yourself. This quite earlier that you visited. Um, that you visited Crystal Ma for the first time and had your. Oh, yeah. Up, up. I'm, I'm finding, I'm finding, the, my notes for the fight with uh, them. Aha! Here we go. Found them. Zars, Krypta, Dask, Silva, Absissa, Dirit Cog. Ah, yeah, Dirit Cog. Alright, so I guess uh, my message is... Uh... However, Stada, you rolled an 8 on your intelligence check and have no <laughs> idea who it is. Damn it! I do. <laughs> and that's what's important. Man, can you guys no, it's fine. Oh, uh, so, yes, Dirit Cog. <laughs> Uh, After racking your brain and asking around, uh, Dirit Cog is indeed the, um, and we can actually end the intermission music at this point, uh, <laughs> the abstention member of the Council of Krithelma, 
Um, Hello? I'm deciding something. Ah, okay. I need a quarter. Well, I can just roll a d2. You're only going to get a nickel. <laughs> okay. Well, die says it is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you can compose a message to um, right. to your friend and mine, Lord Keep It Frisket. All right, so Derek, Derek Cog, right? Derek or Derek? <laughs> Derek Cog. Cog, yes. All right. Uh, hello, Riskit. Uh, One, two. Ac Accio has lost a leg. <laughs> Seven. And we were wondering if if Derek Cog could assist us in crafting a, pr a prosthetic replacement for him. How many You're words 18. is that? 18. Also, I hope you are doing well. <laughs> From no. Sada. That's 25. <laughs> nice. From Sada gets cut off. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> um, Rita composes that. But who uh, was the message from? If only they had signed their message. So, uh, she, she casts that and says that. Um, and a few seconds later, she says... Well, she listens, cocks her head, and thinks, oh, oh, um, Sada. Yeah. Riskit understood the message to be coming from you. Okay. However, he also conveyed. Oh, excuse me. Actually, no. He's sending me a message now. Huh? <laughs> um, needless to say, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, message received. I'm com uh, conveying it to the government of of, of uh, whatever this island is, Surugu. <laughs> He will be unable to convey your message to Dirit Cog. Dirit Cog is dead. Shit. Oh, uh, shit. The council has riven itself into a civil war in Krithoma. Jesus. Evidently. Mm, well, I guess we gotta go deal with that. Apparently, Glirak, Binder of Despair, who... I have no idea who that is, but Riskit gave it, her name particular um, ominous to a particularly ominous tone. Has gathered a few other t uh, powerful political figures in Krithoma. I'm not especially familiar with that, how Skitterkin politics works. But evidently, uh, she is enraged with your government and has raised a and has raised half the city against those who favor their alliance with you. Ah, that's bad. <laughs> well, probably not good. No. Mm. Something about an agreement with her and refusing to bring her slaves. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, she wanted slaves. We said, I think we and said no. you agreed to bring her slaves? I... Oh, my oh, God. Man. I think somebody might might have messed that up. Well, apparently it caused a civil war, so mess it up is, um, yes, uh, pretty high on things I'd describe that as. 
Interesting. I'm trying to remember Very this. Cute. It's been so long. That sounds like a Kasumi move to me. Yeah, that does sound like a Kasumi move. <laughs> sort of a like, yeah, we'll do it now, but we won't really do it. But we'll just say we do it for now. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> and then I Civil War happens. I honestly don't remember. Me neither. Um, <laughs> it's been a very long time. What uh, what Rita is piecing together um, is exactly correct, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's yeah, that's a special Jake, flavor of Kasumi right Kasumi there. Made an agreement with Glirak to uh, acquire slaves for her because she is the Dask priestess, the goddess of tyranny, in order to get her support on the council when you were doing your whole council thing uh adventure in chrysalma mm. needless to say those slaves never materialized <laughs> okay my question though is why did they never send any like hey where's our slave message good question i feel like we would have received something about that before it went to civil war that is a good question Well, I'm not lying. It's a good question. I may have an answer to it, but it's a good question. It turns out she entrusted Warkrid to send the message, but he never he never got around to it. He ate it. <laughs> yeah. Seems possible. <laughs> well, um, uh, I guess I we guess should we go down there. Cool should we deal with the cryohydra first? The cryohydra is a colossal hydra that is just freaking eating things. So yeah, it is yeah. also pretty pressing. I guess let's deal with that, and then we'll go. And Akio still doesn't have a leg. Oh boy! You know, we'll get him a peg leg, I guess, for now. I mean, Man, now I understand really why this. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why this uh, campaign keeps on going longer and longer. No shit. <laughs> because I keep introducing new plot hooks. Yes. Um, <laughs> You you had the power to stop the cells. I mean, yeah. I could, but like, you guys do things, and <laughs> the consequences therefrom are so fun to explore. Um, for me, love. and I hope you guys. Uh, we still have thirty minutes left in the session. What are you talking about? We're not done. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get Akio something. <laughs> It oh, just yeah, feels like a lot happened because that whole shenanigan happened ten minutes into the session. <laughs> I I have no regrets. Oh. Okay, a little bit of regret. Actually, like, you know what? No. Um I'd do it again. <laughs> I still two characters. I'm just <laughs> Uh, I can't believe instead of dying, Akio Akio became became disabled. Damn. All right. All right. Can we get something for Akio? Like some kind of I don't know. Um. I mean, you don't really have anything in the castle. Obviously, you don't have a prosthetics generator or anything. Um. Asking Betelix, Pardax is not good. It can't is not is a mathematician, not a uh, well a a someone that would know how to interface a clockwork leg with an organic uh, nervous system. Uh, and unfortunately, Betelix is more pro uh, uh, suited to that, but is frankly not either. Yeah. Certainly not his area of expertise. He could try. <laughs> I just figure we need like some kind of like just rod or something. I don't know. Just Pink shove a rod into the stump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like a really big, a really really big peg leg. Could the peg leg be a sword? <laughs> could uh, it be a gun? No, that's that's stupid. No, a gun. I, I will, a gun? Oh, okay. I will note that. Um, since it's like scythed off at the hip, uh, the, it, it peg legs are typically something that you put at below the knee. Um, it 
it's gone above that. The peg leg is definitely not the best suited for <laughs> the task. Um, but a crutch would be. Hey, no, no, what? Let's go to Pascal and see if he has any, has any magic items that let let someone levitate. That would solve the problem. Could do that too. Yeah. Okay. Like, right, let's go to Pascal. And it's his his shop of wonders. Um. All right. Uh. Y'all go to out of the city or out of the castle, down to the city. How are you comporting uh, Akio <laughs> in the meantime? Yeah. Uh, cart. <laughs> yeah. Wheelbarrow. Just I just let's plump. Yeah. Slump into a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Give him some pillows. Okay. Did you at least like not like a wheelbarrow. We have nice transportation at home. Why do I look like <laughs> I can look like I'm being? Oh, just give me the best skills. <laughs> you transport the wheelbarrow uh, uh, down through the city. Uh, people give you some looks. <laughs> um, a little confused. Uh, and before eventually you get down to the Fatazo trading post and into, and you open the door into Fatazo's fine finds beneath the uh, sign shaped to look like the flexing Pascal, <laughs> and enter into the store where you see Pascal is currently um, arranging something on the shelves. And you know, he has a re rearranged the place. There, there's no like counter now. It's just sort of like an open floor plan. It looks more like a an antiquarian's den rather than a store at this point. Um, as a big red armchair in one of the corners it's actually very cozy and he turns to you as you walk through with the little bell ringing and he goes oh hey uh, oh what the hell hey yeah you're gonna love this you're one you're gonna love this one yeah what happened oh, we to him? fought a demon <laughs> no no these Ed, edric remembered he had some potions on him and he pulled them out to check them out and then kazumi and akio said hey let's just let's rip these out of his hands and drink them Drink. Not even asking what they did. Yep. Potions that you didn't know what they did. Akio's potion was in a watch. Now yeah. he has a watch. Yeah, he has a watch. It's a nice, it's a watch. nice watch. Yeah. Akio, do you do you show Pascal the watch? I show Pascal the watch. This is a really nice watch. No yeah. mishmake. Oh. This will last a long time. Hey, you hear that? Congratulations on the acquisition. Kasumi's potion summoned a... Why is your leg off? His leg popped up when he drank the potion in the watch. <laughs> the potion makes your leg pop off? Yeah. yeah. And then, Clean it the hip. And then Kasumi's potion summoned a, a super powerful succubus. And the succubus stole Akio's leg and left. <laughs> I mean, Just I like didn't aim for it. We're pretending that I fell down a set of stairs. I think the rumor is that we fought a, a demon and it was really dramatic and cool. So if we're fall down a set of stairs point <laughs> that Pascal walks over to a table and just takes out a glass and pours himself <laughs> a glass of wine. Can I have one of those? As I chugs it before pouring uh, one for you. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome. Uh, uh, here, Pascal reaches down underneath. Uh, Akio, you mind if I pick you up? I don't mind. Okay. He, he picks you up quite easily and just hefts you into the uh, big armchair, which is much more comfortable than the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Thank you, Pascal. You're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, we were wondering if you had any magic items that might help us alleviate this. I mean, situation. I have a bunch of potions. I don't know what they do yet. Do you want to drink those? <laughs> can we get Edric? 
Edric, can we get you to identify those? Edric is just like looking at you flatly. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I you can't. I have used up my one preparation of Damn identify it. for the day. Understandable. All right. You got anything that can make him levitate? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Float a little bit. I mean, I can put that on order, but I don't have anything here. Um, let me check my inventory from my last. Or like a limb regrowth potion, or a magic prosthetic. <laughs> Definitely peg don't leg. have one of those. I don't think no. uh, regeneration is a thing that can come in potions. I think it's too powerful a spell. Yeah, that makes sense. Can we get him like a leg made out of magic vines or snakes or there's gotta be some kind of magic bullshit that can I mean I'm sure there that. is, but can, like can we can we pop off one of his arms and put it put it in the place of the leg instead? Oh man. That, that would be horrible. Your you arm need... is shorter than your leg side of yeah. that would work. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to come with solutions here. That's a bad <laughs> one, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he fights with a one-handed weapon, so... <laughs> well, okay, here we go. He's got a point. <laughs> I mean, by that logic, a crutch would also work. <laughs> Which... Yeah. Yeah. That might, that might be the best option for now. <laughs> mm. Actually, no, I do have something. Uh, hold on. And he he actually leaves the shop, walks out, and wait around for about ten minutes. You can walk around the shop in the meantime, look at the various things. Pascal's there... shop is actually getting kind of uh, he's got a lot of neat stuff in it now. Neat. neat. What's the first neat thing I see? You see what appears to be a a uh, sphere of perfectly clear glass on a little huh. um, hmm. on a little uh, plinth sort of thing, little holder. Um, and looking into it, uh, it's strange. The sphere, it's a sphere of glass. If you looking towards it, you would through it, you would expect it to distort what's behind it, but instead it's perfectly clear. Huh. Weird. Wonder what that does. No lensing at all. Well, as you're looking through it, it becomes cloudy and sort of begins to swirl and focus your vision. But it doesn't go any further. Huh. That's weird. And after you like blink and shake your head, it's back to its normal uh, perfect clarity. Um, eventually, Pascal comes back in. He's carrying a actually a very substantial box. Um, he has to. He actually goes in. Uh, he opens. He pushes open the door with like his shoulder and sort of uh, pushes in that way. Um, sidling through with the box uh, before putting it on the ground. I got this. Um, this is actually just a useful thing for adventurers. For, you know, sometimes adventurers do come in and uh, say, hey, I don't really have the use of my legs right now for whatever reason. Maybe they never did. But he pops off the lid. Um, with his bare hands, it's nailed on, just lifts it off, uh, and lifts out a chair with wheels. Ah, Damn. Pretty uh, cool. This is... Okay. <laughs> what, kind of ch what kind of wheelchair are we talking about? The all-terrain? Uh, yes, actually. This Hell is a yeah. substantial Sick. thing, and... Um, this is a wheelchair meant not for, it's not a wheelchair that is like meant for, uh, a 90 year old in a rest home. This is a wheelchair meant for someone doing something very 
doing some extreme um, stunts. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it, it, it's, it is. Uh, the the wheels are sort of angled, uh, so that they're angled outward at the base and uh, inward uh, near the top where you would grab them. Um, the wheels themselves are actually uh, they have riv it has a riveted edge for extra traction. Um, and it has uh, s uh, several straps to actually keep the person in it. Nice. Um, oh. Is this this just combat is, wheelchair thing I was hearing about on Twitter? This is a combat wheelchair. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, this is not the combat wheelchair ah. <laughs> as made by the dislocating GM. Or DM, rather. Yeah. Uh, or disassociating. Dislocating, I think, is the uh, tag. Um, because that is a 5e supplement. Yes. But this will work in Pathfinder. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, well, there, there we go. go. It will it basically, it allows you to function without your legs. Basically, as well as if you had them. Neat. Well, um, there's, a, there's a temporary solution, at least for now. This is yes, unless Akio decides to just stay in the wheelchair the whole time. Huh? Yeah. It'd be perfectly this viable. Is, yeah. This is not how we have to deal with <laughs> You didn't think a demon would steal your leg? <laughs> I'm just sitting here like I'm not sure how Hey you really can't foresee what's gonna happen in the long term. You know. It's no who who could say what's gonna happen with the decision you make now, what might happen two and a half years later. Uh who's to say? I guess who is to say. I guess I'll be killing people in this chair. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. How much for the chair, Pascal? Well, um, depends. Are you going to just use it, uh, Akio? Do you want to just use it permanently, or are you looking to like get your leg back? I, I hope we like we can get his leg back eventually. Well, I don't know how long that will take, but. <laughs> well, considering that I, uh, I, feel I mean, like we, we technically we technically know where his leg is. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be getting that <laughs> we have, particular leg we'll, back. We'll have to go back to the realm of Polonius, though. No. Do well, oh, shit. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. Well, I would like to offer my opinion. Uh, seeing as how I feel like a chicken with one drumstick, if I find an opportunity <laughs> to get another leg, yeah, I'll absolutely be chasing that. That will. At the moment, my, my entire schedule has been cleared. <laughs> Any meetings are cancelled. Uh, any future dances have been called off. We're gonna just focus on this leg thing, you know? Yep. Because I also am not happy right now. <laughs> no, probably not. That makes yeah. sense. Do um, you want me to, to put you in the chair? Yes. Hmm. Nice call. They lifts you up a off. Room before this. It, it's it, pretty it, comfortable, it, at least. Yeah. Pascal lifts you off the chair and sort of settles you into the wheelchair. Um, he doesn't strap you in; he lets you do that yourself. But uh, it's uh, it's much more comfortable than the wheelbarrow, certainly. Yes. And after a bit of finagling um, and getting used to the thing. Uh, yeah, you can actually comport yourself pretty well. You have pretty good upper body strength. You you are a accomplished swordsman. Your arms are quite strong. Um, maneuvering yourself using the wheels is actually becomes fairly easy to you once you start getting used to it. Good. Whistle. And yeah. Okay. Well, if if you're looking to get a new leg, then uh, we'll just consider this on loan, and uh, yeah, just bring it back to me in one piece, and it, I don't uh, need to, uh, you don't have to Will worry the blood about of the Okay. Will the blood of my enemies come out of the wheels easily? Um, I we mean, can, we can there have are spells to clean things. Yeah, I guess we can just yeah, pressure I, wash it. I can, I can take care of it. It'll be fine. I feel like okay. this, this is as close as I've ever felt being retired, and I hate it. 
Well, how are you retired? Hey, you're just gonna, sitting yeah, down you're this gonna, time. You're gonna be doing sick flips in your wheelchair. Have you ever? How? Oh, look at yeah. me. In the eye. Try it. Do it. Yeah. First, do do a sick flip. flip. Fine. I do. A, I try to do a flip. Second. Well, acrobatics. I will. Can't stop me, Grandpa. <laughs> Papa no, Wheelie. Sit twice the rage. Where's my skills? There it is. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Damn. Wow. You uh Hell yeah. you, you do a stick for that? <laughs> I was not expecting that to Holy say that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you do. I well, actually didn't realize that you had as good a acrobatics as you do. Yeah. It's it's because I was like, see, you just made a whole wheelchair flip. <laughs> I I still you know this is good and all. I still want my leg back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. At least I <laughs> don't need to be like, hey everybody, I need to go to the bathroom. Can you pump me? <laughs> But how are you planning on getting his leg back? I don't know. By that yeah. time. Because I'm not figuring out the solution in nine minutes. We have or some now. other problems to deal with first, like a Hydra, and apparently the Skitterkin are now in Civil War and down in Krithelmar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know right now I'm not fighting a Hydra. In a... Just... Okay. Well, I mean, really... but it'd be really cool if you did. Akio, you can, from what I have, when I've actually seen, like, I've actually seen people use these. They're just as effective as anybody else. Fine. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just won't be You just did a flip. You just did a flip in it, man. Yeah, but I can't. You know what? Fine. <laughs> God. But if, but if we find a spare leg, it's mine. I call <laughs> dibs. Yeah, of course. And once uh, once we deal with everything, maybe we can try to convince Agamentai to, to potentially help us, or we can maybe maybe Greta will become more powerful. Yeah. Man. Okay. I hope my leg is in a good place. <laughs> it's not. God, Your leg, leg is displayed in Nero's jail. People like just you know stop and look at it. It's like, oh man. I mean, he's the only one who's really walking around in there regularly. So, <laughs> does it cheer him up? He likes it. He used to cheer me up. It helps. <laughs> um. So, uh, you guys have about. Right. Well, actually, but that's the thing. <laughs> whenever, um... whenever he goes, it goes, it passes, looks at the leg. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thing, cells? Uh, I don't know how late we want to go. Um, for us Americans, it's MLK Day tomorrow. Uh, I'm off. I kind of want to stick to the schedule today. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm kind of that's fair. Considering that, yeah, I'm probably gonna be going to sleep normal. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can so... we go? Can we go check out the Hydra? I guess at least. Yeah, let's go check out the Hydra. Okay. Let's get an overhead uh, of it. it yeah, I'm sure nothing will happen the on the way there. So you are able to spend the rest of the day sort of recovering from the day's mostly self-inflicted ordeal. <laughs> um, and just sort of relaxing, getting yourself situated, get uh, seeing your significant others, having a nice and pleasant dinner. Um, and uh yes otherwise you the next day you are easily able to gather together um akio you're able to actually sort of just pull yourself up into the sky skip yourself yep um with the chair strapped to you and everyone else piles in and you Edric, all... Edric can come for this if he wants to help us take out a I big don't Hydra. No, if I really want to come. <laughs> uh, but sure, all I right. guess. Oh boy, 
great the, the hydra thing yeah. this is definitely what i want to do with my day this is really you know you know really suited to my specific skill set of <laughs> using magic to fuck with people hey you can fuck with the hydra yeah mm -hmm. this guy the sky skiff takes off this time edric has no mysterious potions with which to <laughs> tempt you also um, you gotta watch out for your boss Yeah. He did drink a potion randomly, though, so <laughs> it's kind of his own fault. Also um, true. And you fly. And you fly and fly until you start getting close to where you believe the Hydra to be. But when you're getting close, you see, actually, from quite a distance away, smoke. Uh -oh. Lots of the coast of Surugu here is somewhat rocky. There are cliff faces um, abutting into the water. As you'll remember, your uh, one pirate uh, boat since blown up by um, by none other than Chazari's on again, off again lover uh, yes. is nearby. So, and you can see where the water does create inlets into the, um, into the uh, cliffs. And as you're getting closer, you can see, smell the smell of burning, just smoke. But you also smell what smells like cooked meat. Uh oh. Burnt meat, Maybe. but also rotten meat. Oh boy. Oh, oh the, the, okay, oh, okay, uh, okay. The, the even bigger monster. You sail I have down a bad feeling about this. And see a prior from a distance. Show. You can see burnt houses. Yeah. Occasionally going over it. Okay. Uh, fields that have just been scorched. And then just sort of like on the coastline around where the where a uh inlet of sand sort of breaks the cliff and creates a sort of hill uh ramp going down into the water uh on that sort of hillside is a colossal corpse mm -hmm. a, a hydra or hedge headed hydra yeah okay lies prone on the ground on Ships. its side a hole burned through its body oh, straight shit. entirely yeah through. it's the burning wrath here and on yeah. the side of the cliff face melted into oh. the stone itself God is a damn. seven gold symbol that you have seen Fuck. before <laughs> yeah and that's where we end today's session <laughs> damn it <laughs> i'm sorry i i think i just heard what what are we looking at the the corpse the hydra and then what uh, um, burning the, town, uh -huh. and the club and, uh, there was a, the symbol of the seven sorrows burned uh, into yeah. it. Yeah, uh, seven skulls. Uh, and the hydro hydro was like completely burned and destroyed. I'm gonna have to dunk on a, on a evil. Uh, evil I will lady. note, though, however, that the hydra smells rotten. Also, yeah, this oh. has been a while. Yeah. You can continue your investigation next, next time. week. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna put something in the uh, chat. Hey, hey guys, sorry about the whole Scatterkin Civil War. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like she should have called? <laughs> but that's Perhaps okay. She Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Just doing some finger painting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Perfect. cool. Good oh, night, by the Ella. way, Rita, uh, also the uh, art of Halfric. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Halfric's right. very good. So handsome. Chef's kiss. Very, very good. Hopefully <laughs> soon Halfric will get to go on another adventure.
I want to retire old. him to a field, a beautiful field <laughs> where he can frolic and read books. <laughs> he deserves it. He's a good boy. Alfred <laughs> is a good boy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, I hope you t enjoyed tonight's session. Yes, it was very funny um, seeing Akio and Kasumi fuck up so bad. <laughs> It, I listen. If, <laughs> if there was a if there was a portal, like a like a po the, uh, a giant uh, fountain of choices, we would have drank from it a lot, and you no, know you would have. I, I it. wouldn't have. Uh, never since the last I, time I, I've I stopped, would I've not stopped have. doing it because it's so so fucking risky. I didn't take anything from Polonius's realm. I'm ever, not going to drink a mysterious ever since, potion. Ever, ever since the last campaign where Odell fucking exploded, I think I've sworn off the magic fountains and magic. So fountains. the thing is about these three potions is that I ha they had set effects, and yeah. Patrick could have told you if you just gave him two minutes. Yep. <laughs> I think the funniest thing ever is that I just remember the very last time we played this game last weekend. I was telling Rita about how, like, every now and again, these moments show up. And the first time I played, Pete exploded. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's, that's exactly why when I swore off drinking this uh, random effects potion. Session. Magic is too dangerous. It's just too dangerous. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing, though. No harm personally befell me. So and it's fine. <laughs> you got to be one inch taller for five minutes. Yeah, very exciting. And it was a great moment for me. Uh, it's very good. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go retell this to my buddy. And uh, it's Ooh, just absurd. Is it's it just a absurd. boy? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> just being irritating. <laughs> that was Ooh, dumb. Well, You're you dumb. are. This sad. is all dumb. Good night. Yeah, but Rita, see, the thing is, though, is you, you have a, a, a similar brain cell that I do. And, uh, it, and you know it's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Night. All right, have a good night, until, everyone. Until next time. <laughs>